Carlos, uh, you know, so much attention is on who's not here uh, right. with Derek Rose and his rehab. Um, how, do you, how do you guys build a sense of team while your leader, while your superstar is, is taking care of his business on the side? Yeah, I mean, you don't lose a Derek like, I mean, a player like Derek without feeling it. You know, we're all going to feel it. And, uh, you know, we're going to miss him for the first half of the season, maybe even a little bit of the second half of the season. But, you know, we feel like if we come together as a group of guys, um, we can defend, we can rebound, we can give ourselves a chance to win every night and uh, put ourselves in a position to, to be successful. And then in the second half of the season, we get Derek back. Hopefully we go into the playoffs healthy and we take our chances. But, you know, more responsibility falls on the rest of us to step up and unite and uh, do it together. So whatever challenges it would be to change up what you're doing, it'd be worth it to bring back a player like Derek. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we, want, we want to do as much as we can, hold the fort down, let him, you know, focus on his rehab, get, get better, get healthy. You know, we don't want to endanger him in any way. Um, incredible future, bright future ahead of him. We don't want him to come back too soon. Um, we don't want him to, to feel, you know, responsible for us if we go through a tough time. We want him to do his thing. We'll focus on, on winning games right now. And then when he's ready, he come back and join the pack, and we, we you know, we ride out, ride out together like we always do. Now you've adapted your game and learned how to play with Derek for yeah. two years here. Um, when he's not in there and someone else is, maybe they're not the same dribble penetrator that Derek is. Right, right. Um, maybe it opens up some opportunities for yourself. Do you look at, at that possibility? Oh, absolutely, I look at that possibility. I'm ready for it. Um, at the same time, you know, I think when you play with a player like Derek, a lot of times adjusting means just get out the way because <laughs> he has right. so much to give us. You know, he can do so many different things from different places on the floor. Um, this year, I'm assuming we're going to be starting with Kirk, which is an awesome playmaker, very smart player, tough player, um, more of a pass-first kind of guy, playmaker for the rest of us. So um, I think I'll have more opportunities. I think Luau will. I think uh, Rip will. And, uh, you know, we look, we look forward to having that opportunity. But... Don't be mistaken. We look forward to getting Derek back as well. Because of the way you came in, in here to Chicago, maybe the expectations for the kind of player you would be here, um, some fans you know, have been critical. And, and, you know, can Carlos do more? Has he done enough? Mm -hmm. And yet other people say you've been precisely the player you've always been mm -hmm. in your career. Do you think anything changes either on the criticism end or the, well, just, uh, the way I, you play? I think it's different. You know, I think here um, my role was very different in Chicago than it was in Utah. I know Utah was the offense was built around myself and Darren Williams. The offense here is built around Derek, and the rest of us fit in. And we've been very successful with that. You know, you've been, been the number one team uh, two years in a row as far as wins. Our defense has always been there. But regardless, you know how I am. I, I care about us winning. You know, people can be critical on me. I'm fine with that. I can take the criticism. Um, I just want to be a, a part of a team that wins the championship. And whatever my role is, if it's greater increases this year or if it's if it's the same or whatever, I'm happy with that as long as we win.